Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Scorpios. Scorpio, we're going to take a look at your energy on the left, your person's energy on the right, and then we're going to see what's happening between you right down the middle. Now at any point in time, feel free to swap the energies that I may be picking up on, and I also urge you to play with time. This could be a past connection, a current situation, or an energy moving towards you in the next couple of weeks. So let's go ahead and get started. Clear messages and guidance, please, for my dearest Scorpios, for their highest and greatest good. And <clears throat> clear messages and guidance, please, for my dearest Scorpios, for their highest and greatest good. All right, so we have the Seven of Swords as your energy. Moon and Aquarius. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Aquarius energy, you're viewing your person as the star card in reverse. Ooh, and the connection as the moon. So feeling a little bit in the dark here, Scorpio, about what's going on. Your person, you could be dealing with a Leo or someone with that energy. They're viewing you as the Five of Swords in reverse again, Venus in Aquarius energy. Hmm. And we see the Four of Wands in reverse. So soulmates in separation, they're seeing this connection as unstable. Five of Wands in reverse is what's going on between you with the Prince of Cups. Somebody's not so sure about commitment or following through. And the Princess of Wands, one foot in the door and one foot out. Ooh, Scorpio. All right, so we've got the chariot card in reverse. So Cancerian energy. I do see that things have come to a halt here between you and this person. The Seven of Swords, I kind of feel like obviously you could be avoiding this person, um, but I feel like you're finding out, like, I don't know, there's something that's very draining about this connection or there was, uh, you might feel like they're hiding something. I don't know. This is a card of like, you know, something here is draining my time, my energy, my love, my money, my resources. It's not a nice energy to be in. Empress energy in reverse. Yeah. For some of you, there's a third party. Take it how it resonates. It could be you. It could be them. But you feel like there's something here that's not honoring your worth and your value. It's not moving forward. I don't know if you're putting in more into this connection than they are. This Aquarius energy that I'm picking up strong in this reading. Of course, it does not mean they have to have Aquarius in their chart, nor do you. But the star card in reverse tells me that the way you see this person is something here has been shocking for you. Or they need to heal. I don't know. You're unsure about your the future between the two of you. Now, it could be your person is a businessman or woman or business person. That they're very focused on that. And so they may not have enough time for this connection or that's how you might be feeling my dear Scorpios but with the king of wands you see this person is very powerful very passionate very attractive and again they could have fire in their chart strong Leo maybe maybe Aries or Sag but you you have this powerful attraction to this person I think you're holding on to your you have a torch for them but there's something here that's not adding up or there's something that's starting to really make you feel drained like do I put more time and effort into this you see the connection as the moon card. Now for some of you, and I know not all of you are going to like this, but the message I'm getting is for some of you, you know that this is a connection that you can't be out in the open with for whatever reason. Again, it's possible there's some sort of third party, but let's see. And the two of cups. Wow. You see this person as your soulmate, but there's something within this connection that's hidden or that's very confusing. Um, wow. All right. So the, your person is showing up as the strength card. Okay, so Leo energy and the Six of Wands. So your person is in a really strong ego energy. So some of my Scorpios, maybe you've pulled back because you're trying to see if this person is, you know, are they doing me dirty here? They might get a lot of attention. Um, this definitely smack, this, I want to say the smacks of, I never use that term, but um, this definitely like has this energy of somebody with an imbalanced solar plexus chakra, although they might have like, um, you know, they might come off in a very sort of masculine energy or like in a very powerful energy. Um, but it can be like an overinflated ego here with the six of wands in reverse. You could feel like they're ignoring you or they're just getting a lot of attention or this person likes to get a lot of attention from others. Um, and I, I'm seeing you're not liking that. 
five of swords energy in reverse they see you as pulling back your energy you might not even be talking to this person i think this person might be in a little bit of a player type energy here scorpio but there's something different about you and there's something different about this connection because you're seeing it as the two of cups but I think there's a lot of confusion here because your person they're very attractive maybe they make a lot of money they're very good looking they're used to getting a lot of attention and I feel that this person thinks about you way more than they would like to or you know it's like the player feels like they're getting played here Scorpio the four of wands energy there it's like this person's kind of waiting I feel now more than anything, you're both a little bit non-committal here, but Scorpio more so because you're not so sure if your person can be trusted or this person, you know, do they have other options? Are they, you know, am I the only person here? They see the connection as instable and the justice card, 1111. Some of you, this could be a twin flame connection, or maybe that's how you're feeling, but we get really, really strong soulmate vibes here with the two of cups. We get the four of wands, the justice card, but there's something off balance here. Maybe you're not giving to this connection anymore, Scorpio. Maybe you're just starting to feel like, wow, okay, it's not moving in the direction I want or you know, my person, I, maybe they're not ready to sort of commit. And so I feel you could be pulling your energy back. Five of Wands, though, in reverse takes us back to the Four of Wands. So there's a strong soulmate connection here. And we see the Ten of Pentacles energy in reverse. Some of you, this person wants to make amends. I'm also seeing we've got somebody, whether it's you or them, and it feels like them in, in a big way. But um, somebody here that's used to sort of being single kind of hesitant, one foot in the door, one foot out about sharing what they've worked for, about making a commitment. King of Cups energy. There is love here though, or there's the potential for it, but oh, with the Knight of Cups in reverse, again, this is a bit of a player type energy and we get the Page of Cups in reverse. There's something here you're not trusting, Scorpio. There's something here that you're not trusting, either what they say, they don't back it up with actions, for some of you, there's a third party. Maybe they've been, you know, feeding you the line that that's going to end or just wait or or what have you. I feel like you're not seeing that action. There's definitely instability and, and there's a lack of equilibrium here. What I'm seeing is I feel like your person's in a really strong ego energy. Maybe they're just really focused on their business um, or on money. The Page of Wands in reverse tells me there's not a lot of action or communication at this time. Again, it's very one foot in the door, one foot out. But there's also this energy of waiting. So I don't know if your person's waiting to get that big break and they're very focused on career and finance. It's definitely possible. So if you're like, nah, this is not a third party situation, like there's nobody else involved. For some of you, your person's are like really, really working towards making, a, like making it big in whatever, whatever field they're in. It's a very confusing time for this connection. There is a lack of sort of emotional trust here, though. And the Emperor energy in reverse. Yeah, Aries energy in reverse. Somebody here is very my way or the highway, and it feels like it's your person. It feels like your person is, you know, I don't know if they gave you an ultimatum here, Scorpio. I don't know if they're just not offering you offering you what you need and, and emotionally you're really pulling back I feel like a lot of you you might be reeling from that now we do have the emperor and the empress showing up so I mean there's there's a very strong connection here but with the devil and the upright I'm kind of feeling like it's more karmic than anything things are on hold for a reason Scorpio for you to find balance you need the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth about what this person is doing, you know, what they want to offer you, how this makes you feel, does this work for you? Your challenges here are peace. I'm a being of love and I release all negative energy. So some of my Scorpios, like you're making this very tough decision to move away from someone. I don't know if they were bringing you chaos or they were they were keeping you in sort of a reactive energy because I do feel like this person might be getting a lot of attention from people and it's like, I don't feel like it's unfounded jealousy. It may have been making you feel jealous because there's a, there's a lack of trust here. There's a lack of security in this connection. And we get fear. Okay, so I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Some of my Scorpios, I do feel like you're pulling away from something that isn't honoring your worth and your value. And you're even kind of like freaking yourselves out because the, you, this feels like your person. 
but I feel like you're setting very, very strong boundaries. Like you're seeing the red flags here for sure. And it's, it's hard. I feel like that's one of the hardest things to do. Like when you love somebody so much and you, and you feel like this is your person, this is my soulmate, this is my twin flame, you know, whatever, however you feel about this person, but they're not giving you what you need. And they're not providing that, that safe space for the connection to grow against your sort of intuition or not against your intuition, but it, like it feels counterintuitive, but I feel like the right decision for you right now is to pull back. Your person is focused on their abundance. I'm a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. I am getting that your person is so focused on the 3D, on their career, on whether it's buying a home, buying a car, finishing school. It's like they, I almost feel like they've got, they're really focused on making it big. And I, I feel like they're not giving to the connection because of that. And we get blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. Yeah, your person, I feel like they're very in a, in this energy of single man, single lady mode. I've got some stuff to do. And I feel like that's why they neglect you or they neglect the connection, Scorpio. And like I said, even though that there's this is a strong connection and even though you might feel like, oh my gosh, this is my perfect person. This is everything that I've wanted. They're not giving you what you need. Yeah, and I am attracted to those people who serve my highest good. And I feel that's what the main sort of theme of this reading is. This is tough. This is tough energy because, again, this is a powerful connection. I think that they feel the connection, but I feel like they're not willing to sacrifice. That's what I'm picking up on. I feel like they're very focused on themselves. They're very focused on their career. They're very focused on whatever this is. And it feels, and there's nothing wrong with, with putting yourself first. There's nothing wrong with wanting and having and maintaining nice things. Um, but your person does feel like they're, they're very embedded in the 3D matrix. They might have, you know, they might be a false reality, right? Of, you know, things are more important than relationships type attitude. So Spirit's telling my Scorpio, sing your own song. Don't be afraid to move in your own direction um, and take a leap of faith. Yeah, some of my Scorpios out there, it's about taking a leap of faith. And that whatever that leap of faith is, it's towards a person, a place, a thing, a state of peace and harmony. That needs to be your priority. All right, your person's energy spirit has your back. Okay, so again, I feel like your person is like feels... They may be, you know, they may be doing something that they feel is their, is their divine path, their divine purpose. For some of you, I get like it's about achieving fame and fortune, but in some sort of creative area may not be, it could be anything. And this and that are true dolphin spirits. So dolphins are playful, energetic, fun, happy. Um, but I also see this dolphin jumping out of the water. So I, I feel like your person's very driven and I feel this connection is taking a hit because of that. Nothing is wasted. So this vulture spirit, um, you, you might be dealing with somebody here who, again, I feel like they very much so put themselves first, most likely putting their career over this connection. I know I've said that a million times. Sorry for repeating myself. But I also feel there's some really powerful, powerful lessons here. This is a strong soulmate connection, Scorpios, for sure. All right, let's see. What is this person going to do? What action are they going to take towards you in the next couple of weeks? Ten of Swords, Energy in Reverse. They may try to come in and communicate, heal things. Um, Seven of Pentacles, Energy in Reverse. There, It could also be an ending, Scorpio. So I, I feel like that's a powerful energy. Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. So there's an energy of confusion around your person. They've got a lot of options right now. And I feel like they're trying to suss that out. The Ten of Swords in Reverse tells me they may want to heal things. They might be putting an end to something to make it up to you. Ten of Pentacles, though, tells me your person is very focused on that stability, on career, on finance. So I would expect some sort of message here from them. I would expect them sort of coming out and telling you, you know, either, yeah, we can do this. Let's work towards stability here. You know, they're going to give you an answer one way or the other. You're going to know, okay, whether or not this connection is going to move forward or not. And this is for like the next in the next one or two weeks. So they're saying you broke my heart. So some of my Scorpios, you've pulled back your energy and that's been a big wake up call for them. 
I can't reach out and I love you. Wow. So right now, again, I feel like they've got a lot of confusion for some of you. They can't reach out because of their career, because of travel, maybe another connection. Again, I know you're not going to like that, but for some of you, that's the truth. Um, this person does love you. They have strong feelings for you. Um, but we have this energy of, I can't do this. And this is off, oftentimes representing my Scorpios. So it's going to be up to you whether or not this person can give you what you're looking for. Or is it time to take a leap of faith in a new direction despite the intensity of this connection? All right. So big decisions coming up for my Scorpios. I love you so much. Um, if these messages resonate, I'm going to ask that you hit that like button, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light Scorpios. Take care.